I think today's program is quite unforgettable because we don't usually have a chance to talk to refugee or visiting subdivided flats family. Imagine if you had to live in the same house for one week. What is your feeling on that? Mm -hmm. Probably wouldn't last a week. Even in this like uh, hard situation, they are really optimistic and they still didn't. <laughs> they didn't lose hope. And I think it's very inspiring, like Majid said, that, you know, even with the very little resources that they have, they're able to accomplish so much. And it, you know, it makes me feel how grateful I am with all the material, like, resources that I have. And, you know, it gives me hope for what I can do with those resources. Yeah, and Miss Hong. These are the resources we prepare. We have some peanuts, some canned food, and yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, noodles, noodles. So Majid is going to pick this white bag with one finger. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on, this guy is, is pretending to be strong. How many kg? I'm not pretending, bro. Look at this. Look at this. He's shaking. <laughs> Let me introduce them first. Uh, they're from the United Christian College, so he is Majid, right? Yeah. Majid. Miss Hong, and she's there, the teacher. Sit down. Yes. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> yeah, sure. He's having trouble sometimes. He cannot breathe. We don't usually have a chance to talk to refugee or visiting subdivided flats family. So I think it's a very good opportunity to really see what they need or hear their story, hear their story. Mm -hmm. I think it's a very good opportunity for students to to learn how to care more about them or the social issues happening in Hong Kong yes. because we don't really I don't think we really know a lot about the government policy towards the refugee or overstaying 
uh, immigrants or foreigners. Yes. So, but I can uh, see the joyfulness, or they still have hope in, especially in God, for their future. For them. yes. I think it would be pretty hard <laughs> because it's very different from our lifestyle or the environment they live in or we especially their background or their own story it's very difficult for us I think yes so, so now you're more grateful for your life and yes. environment <laughs> sure <laughs> yes hello it's me Today's event, uh, my feeling is uh, I'm really enjoying the event. Like, we were having fun with kids, like, they're really cute, and you know, we're having fun together, we're playing games together. And throughout today's event, we learned a lot about like the situation of refugees and uh, immigrants uh, from Hong Kong, and uh, we know more about the government policy to this uh, situation, and we understand more of their difficulties. And also, I see that uh, lots of them, like even in this like uh, hard situation, they are really optimistic, and they still didn't <laughs> they didn't lose hope, and they still have faith in God. This is what I really appreciate. Them. Better, like in terms of uh, like you know material, perhaps yes. But I uh, there, I, I saw like a lady, like uh, she is sixty years old like just now, but she's super productive. She's going to do volunteer works and she's, she's going to learn this language, learn that language. Like sometimes, you know, I have time, I just sit at home, just lay on the bed, phone, <laughs> YouTube. She's so much more productive than me. Like, I can't believe it. She had have, she have like worse uh, material, I mean, uh, financial condition than me, but she is so productive. She, I mean, she, she works so hard, even in that situation, that she really lost hope, mm. her, which is, I really appreciate that. And that really inspires me a lot. So, go ahead, Joy, how was your experience? I think it was a very fun overall. I think it was like, wow, well, with gathering with friends, and I think with people, it, when you say refugee and like uh, other people, you think of someone from another world and you don't really get to understand them. But today when I met them, it was more like friends and then together, we were laughing together, sort of discussing the same topics. And you you wouldn't really feel their background until you really see it. And I think it's very inspiring, like Majit said, that you know even with the very little resources that they have, they're able to accomplish so much. And it, you know, it makes me feel how grateful I, I am with all the material like resources that I have and you know, it gives me hope for what I can do with those resources. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So cool. How is your feeling seeing all those trophies and that's everybody? It makes me feel like I'm useless. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, like I, I have a lot more resources than he does, and yet I still can't get to the newspaper, and yet I, I am still not MVP, so... Um, yeah, I guess I have to work harder. Mm. So what do you think? Is that trophy really means anything? I think it's the... Hard... See, you don't have trophy, you're living in a better environment. He has a trophy, but he's not living in an environment like you. So what is the meaning of trophy for you? I think trophy is oh, the result of your hard work. So it doesn't matter what resources you have and what background you come from. As long as you work hard, you will get the you will get your deserved co uh, consequences. Yeah. So in other words, like you did not work hard, but your living condition is still better than you. Yeah. So why you think you're useless? Because I have such good living environment, and yet I still don't work hard as hard as him. But I think it's because your parents has we has been working so hard for that yeah. where they are. Yeah. So you can be also proud of your parents' hard work. Mm -hmm. Your time will come too. Well, firstly, um, I think hearing other people's backstories and how they got to this situation is is very eye opening. Because normally you won't, you you won't, like for example, if you go to a school like UCK, you won't meet a lot of people like with the same situation. So it's nice to hear other people's situation and how how their life has been but it's also really hard to imagine um, how depressing the the journey from 
like years ago up to now would be. So yeah, I feel like it's really I'm very grateful for this opportunity to meet a lot of people from uh, different cultures and different backgrounds. And yeah, I open it up. So you're born in UK mm -hmm. and quite a good amount of time you spent in Europe as well. Mm -hmm. Ten years. And then uh, yeah, ten years. And today you also visited subdivided flat mm -hmm. and. Uh, one of the boys living condition and his final result how many mvp trophies he has yeah. how is your feeling towards that condition and that result very unexpected because you know in like some tv series or movies they they always picture it as very poor and unproductive but when you actually go see it in real life and you realize even without the resources or the necessary uh, financial stability to achieve these things and uh, everyone can still achieve it. You can still be MVP and um, get, uh, get into the newspaper. I think that's very inspiring. So have you ever complained anything for your life or your situation, material or anything? Maybe my parents. Mm, what kind of complaint is it? Like they're always telling me, oh, there is no going to go on your phone, study more, otherwise you will end up on the streets or something, you're going to get a job and everything. And, yeah. <laughs> so now you can tell them I met the people from the street, even they are MVP. Yeah. <laughs> you have some good motivation, right? <laughs> to be on the street and be MVP. <laughs> no, but like, it gives me motivation to maybe study. So when you enter in the building, the ground floor, staircase, I already have lots of rubbish, flies, living environment, pink color lighting, first floor and so on. Imagine if you had to live in the same house for one week. What is your feeling on that? Mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't last a week. Mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't last a week. Wouldn't last a week? What do you mean? Explain. Like at home I have my own room and it's quite spacious. And I mean, the only time I shared a room was in England because I had to share with my brother. But I feel like not having your own privacy in your own room is very, very different. Like your lifestyle will change drastically. So I don't think I can, I can live in a subdivided flat. So today you go home and tell your parents how grateful you are for your privacy and yeah. your own nice environment, right? Yeah something you can say i'm truly genuinely from the bottom of my heart so grateful mm -hmm. for giving me this since long time mm -hmm. uh, good and today you guys take the initiative to come and step out of your comfort zone and looking at the other side of the coin of hong kong it's really really amazing and uh, the way you guys express feel motivated and grateful it's it's really commendable because uh, i remember being 14 I just have no idea. All I want to do is just maybe play or homework the max. But I think I appreciate your UCC college for taking such an initiative where you can go and experience firsthand how the subdivided flat looks like, how the people in Hong Kong, those who are below poverty line or living on social welfare, how their life sounds like, experience like. So I think it's not an event or it's not a project. I would say it's an experience where you will remember it at least for a good amount of time. Yeah, because I know you guys will watch another cartoon, another YouTube, hard to remember. But I just wish that if you can remember this experience for a while and whenever you have opportunity, you see people without label, but see them as God's masterpiece. Because that's where we believe and that's where the 12 years boy 12 years old boy, he came to rescue me while he don't know how to swim. So that's the beauty of seeing the best in one another. Yeah, so thank you so much UCC. You did a great job and I hope to see you again.